Do you know you have access to only about 1% of the entire internet? You're surfing the web, which is indexed by search engines and made up of easily searchable sites and content. Kind of like the video you're watching right now. What about the other 99%? What is exactly hiding there and how do we access it? A large part of the hidden internet is the deep web, which includes all of the unindexed parts, such as private databases, email, electronic health records, among other things accessible through standard web browsers. Buried even deeper is the dark web, a hidden subset of the deep web accessible only via special software, hosting both legitimate and illicit activities. While the deep web is vast and mostly harmless, the dark web is intentionally concealed and often associated with illegal activities. Most people spend their time on the surface web, which is the easily accessible 1% of the internet that we navigate daily. But with special software like Tor, we can escape the surface and dig even deeper. First, let's uncover what happens behind the scenes. Indexing is the magic behind Google's lightning fast search results. Google uses crawlers or spiders to scan the web for new and updated pages. These crawlers read content, they analyze it, and they follow links to other pages. All this data is stored in a massive index, basically a digital library. When you search for something, Google's algorithms quickly sift through this index, returning pages based on relevance, quality, and other factors. The dark web, however, isn't indexed by search engines like Google. You can't just accidentally stumble upon it. This anonymity serves dual purposes. Protecting the identities of journalists and activists, well, also facilitating illegal marketplaces and forums for criminal activities. Only those with specific knowledge and tools can access it, adding a layer of security for those who need privacy and anonymity. Tor, short for the Onion Router, originated back in the mid-1990s as a project of the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory. Tor is designed to provide anonymous communications over the internet by routing your traffic through multiple layers of encryption and relays. Today, the Tor network has over 145,000 relays, bouncing your connection all the way across the globe. Despite its notorious reputation, only 3% of all traffic on Tor comes from the dark web. Yet this small slice hosts a staggering 45% of the sites that are engaged in illegal activities. And speaking of shady dealings, darknet markets and fraud shops received $1.7 billion in Bitcoin transactions in 2023 alone. When you send a request through Tor, it doesn't travel directly to its destination. Instead, it passes through a series of relays, an entry relay, a middle relay, and an exit relay. Each relay is kind of like the layer of an onion, providing multiple layers of encryption and anonymity. The first layer, or entry guard, knows your IP address. However, it doesn't know your final destination. This relay peels away the first layer of encryption and then passes the message to the middle relay. The middle relay knows only that it needs to pass the data to the next layer, the exit relay. The middle relay peels away another layer of encryption, but it doesn't know the original source or the final destination. The exit relay is the final layer that decrypts the last layer of encryption and sends your request to the intended destination. The exit relay knows the final destination, but not the original source, keeping your identity fully hidden. Imagine an onion with its multiple layers, your original data at the core, wrapped in several layers of encryption. As the data travels through each relay or layer, a layer of encryption is peeled away. By the time it reaches its final destination, all of the outer layers have been removed. But the relays never see the entire picture. This layer approach ensures that no single relay knows both the source and the destination. Even if an attacker compromises one of the relays, they still only get partial information. The entry relay knows your IP, but not where you're going. The middle relay knows neither your IP nor your destination. And the exit relay knows just the destination but not your IP. Tor's layered encryption makes it incredibly difficult to trace your internet activity directly back to you, providing a high degree of anonymity and security. However, it's important to remember that while Tor greatly enhances privacy, it's not foolproof, and it should be used alongside other security practices.
While Tor encrypts your data and bounces it through multiple servers, the fact that you're using Tor in the first place is kind of a red flag to your internet service provider. This is where a VPN might step in to boost your privacy. By connecting to a VPN before you start using Tor, your ISP only sees that you're connecting to a VPN, not that you're accessing Tor at all. The VPN masks your IP address and encrypts your traffic. So the first node in the Tor network can't see your real IP either. If you want to go even further, combining a VPN with Tails Linux gives you the best possible protection. Tails is an operating system designed to run from a USB stick, leaving no traces behind when you shut it down. When you pair Tails with a VPN and Tor, you're creating multiple layers of anonymity. Your ISP has no idea you're using Tor, the Tor network can't trace your IP, and Tails wipes everything clean after use. This triple layered approach is one of the closest ways you can get to being truly invisible online. Using Tor can be illegal in certain countries, primarily due to its association with the dark web or because it offers online privacy. When it comes to security concerns, one notable risk is triangulation, which occurs when a hacker gains control over both entry and exit nodes on the Tor network. By correlating the timing of the traffic entering and exiting the network, they could potentially identify the origin of specific posts or comments. For example, a connection that's initiated at 10.51.15 a.m. could be linked to a post made at 10.51.16 a.m., compromising user anonymity. Another significant risk is eavesdropping at the exit node. Because Tor traffic is not encrypted by default once it leaves the exit node, a bad actor intercepting the connection before it reaches the broader internet could potentially access sensitive user data. This data, if intercepted, could be traced back to the user, defeating the purpose of using Tor for privacy. So in summary, Tor is a very cool idea and network that can help you provide privacy and anonymity and allow you to access the deep, dark recesses of the internet. But like anything in security, Nothing is bulletproof, and you need to carefully evaluate your solutions and plan for compromise.